Well, the fun continues at this amazing Parisian market. And we're going to have some delicious French food. And as always, we're going to take you along for the adventure. Join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband Gary and our son Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. So at this expansive table here, I've gone through very carefully and I've chosen this beautiful wood, hand-carved little vase. This French doll woman, she's got a, what feels like a composite face and then her soft body, she's really quite amazing. She's holding flowers in her basket and this adorable little French cat. So I'm going to so I'm going to pay. They're asking one euro a piece, so I'm going to pay for my little treasures. So I've, I've learned how to uh, do the euros pretty well here and the change. So let's carry on. So now we're at all of these boxes that you kind of have to dig into. Look at this piece, it's old chalkware. They kind of look scary, like they're from the Inquisition. This bird piece, but I'm sure it's missing its lid. Old rolling pin in there. This is really a dig proposition. Have this wood duck. Lay quack. Lay quack. I think he's wonderful. He's missing a piece there. But I think he's quite old and I'm going to ask let's, about him. Let's find out. That's so cool. Yeah, he's very cool. The way the paint is faded on there and he's car hand carved obviously. Let's see what else. That's the trick. You gotta dig through everything to find the treasures. Gary, would you just hold him so right good. now? Did you see this one right over here that almost looks like pewter? No, but I'll get there. And this is, looks to be a little hymnal, hymnal type yeah. book. Yes, it's absolutely religious. Let's put it back in this little case and let's see what else we can find in here. It's kind of a carved bracelet and necklace that's very lightweight, of no consequence. We have some interesting pieces all tangled up in here. They all look to be very new though, so I'm not gonna mess with that right now. I will, I am a good digger as everyone knows, but I have to see something that's worth going through all of this stuff because I don't want to break anything. This looks like an old, uh, it's terribly chipped. Mm, yeah, it's that speckled glaze. Let's see what else we have down here. I think this is one of those travel clocks. Yep. Dig, dig, dig is the name of the game at these boxes here. What is this guy? Oh, let's see, look at that. What is that? It's a rabbit. Hmm. He's probably older, but doesn't excite me too much. And what is this piece here? As you know, I'm desperately looking for mid-century modern pieces. Let's see, we have a chess set, or it's checkers rather. New, new items, kind of a salt, looks like a salt glaze. And what is this piece? Looks like maybe a liquor bottle of some kind. So that looks like an old crock. You just see that in a French country farmhouse. That could never get back on the plane, but it is interesting. And crocks in here. You just never know what you're gonna find. Luxembourg. Mm. 
we have a fan. Very new. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the fan. Not a fan of the fan. Oh, look at this. This is a cat lamp. Uh, it's 2002. So it's not old. It's got a new switch and everything. Oh, so here we go, some more ephemera. Older and newer. Tons of ephemera behind you. I know, it's everywhere. That's why you have to be very discerning on what you actually want. Want to choose. Look at these old cards. All right. So much, so much to look at. Look at this over here. You have some of that shell art. And <laughs> he's Le Hoot. Le Hoot. Yeah, let's see what we have here. This is looks to be Middle Eastern. Morocco. Morocco. Moroccan plate. He's kind of an interesting camel, huh? From Morocco. French Morocco, probably. What is your thoughts on him? He's, he, he's not speaking to me. He's not speaking to you. I'm, I'm so on the fence. We've got so many days to go, and I want to be able to get all the goodies I do want. All cracked and broken. Woohoo. Let's see. We have one earring in there. Let's see. Oh, just one earring. And we have a little stein down here. What is this? Oh, it's plastic. Some sort of old, uh, some sort of lamp. And we have a roll out the barrel bank. It's interesting. Some sort of shell down there. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to see. What this is? Oh, it's uh -oh, it's broken. I know. Finish. There's so many broken pieces in here. It's really hard to dig. <sighs> Citrus. It's a nice basket. Ah, castanets. Ole. And a very sad flamingo. See, we have an, a trunk up elephant. Broken. Broken. Well, that's very heavy. I have a little carved piece. Looks like it's, it's missing the bottom half. Dreamly broken. And. Broken. The souvenir piece from looks like the 50s, probably. All right, let's go around the other side. Little French bowl. And what does this say? That is a weight of some kind. For a scale. For a scale. And let's see what we have here. Oh, it's a tile. I saw one over there. I don't like the shape of that, though. It's not very attractive. Let's see. Ah, it's a shoe. It was an ashtray. All right, and this is an older piece. What we have here, bird. Maybe we'll find something. Something. All right, keep going. A 
the mug. Ah. Drum. Oh, look at this dancer. She's she's on silk, it looks like. She's quite lovely. Not my favorite. And we have, it looks like a whole box of wine corks. And let's see what else. We have a chicken missing the lid, it looks like. A little vase of Nice. Again, a tourist piece. Let's keep going. Let's see what's in this old box. It feels empty. Yeah, it is. I can feel it's empty. That was a knife box, knife box right? from Paris. All right, let's keep going. Oh, look at him. He's a modern mouse. Modern mouse. And we have some more ephemera. Lots of old postcards and things. Quite bent up though, unfortunately. What appears to be a figure. He's very heavy. Those glasses are great, but kind of heavy to bring back. Oh, I mean, so much of this I would absolutely buy if we were in in the States. But for here, what is this? I'm guessing it's some sort of mold. I get myself in trouble with mold. The Virgin Mary. Lords. Well, this is quite an interesting booth. Look at that painting. That's really quite old. Look at this piece here. Oh, that's heavy. 30 euro they want for that. Let's see, what are these? Oh, those are coasters. Those are amazing. Let's see if I get them open even. Look at those. Those are quite old. I'm guessing the way this is laid out that these items are a little more expensive. And what is this? This is a bag of old postcards and a ephemera. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, look at that. It's interesting that they put their stamps on the front here. They do. That's interesting. Hmm. Let's see what the time frame seems to be on these. What is that? I can't quite tell. Mm. Interesting. Old, old postcards. Well, I guess there's no harm in asking how much. Oh, look at this little, little tiny box. Oh, French pill box. This little box here. Very pretty. Uh, 50 cents. 50 cents. Yes. I'll pick a few of them, not the whole though. No. All right, let's, let's see which ones we want. I don't want to spend too much time on postcards, but I just like that first one. I like that one, I think it's very pretty. Like that one. Now yeah, let's see what else. Try to go through them a little faster. Look at that. He's quite the dapper guy walking along. Let's see if we can see any more color ones. 
Lyon, the French Alps. Well, I think I'm going to get these four right here, and I'll put these back. I'm looking at this box here. That's quite interesting. Chile. <laughs> A Chilean box in France. Very pretty. Let's see what else we see. Ah, those. Little bracelets. Little salt and peppers. Olives. Little olive, olive plates. And we have jewelry in here. I don't know if we can go into those. What is it? Yeah, it is for the, the comb for the yes, hair. I have another one. Ah. And how much is this one? Five. Five. I think that's very pretty. Let's put this down right here. And look at this little cat box. He is quite amazing. I'd like to find out how much he is. These earrings, they're not marked though. These bracelets, nothing's marked. She said they were high level, but I'm not seeing any markings. There's something that's marked in there. I actually don't care for that too much though. This one is marked. This one is Nikki. That's pretty. It's very pretty. Well, I guess we, we can always ask. I believe asking is free. 100. Oh, 59 euro. But I. Mm -hmm. You cut it in half. Oh, okay. You do, you do 70. Okay. I see. It's a friend of mine. I see. And the little cat box? It's five. I make five for you. Five? Okay. So I have, right, I have this. You said five. Oh, oh pardon, pardon, pardon. Don't to drop everything. Sorry. All right. So, so we have, so you said uh, 50 cent each and I have four. So 12. Yes. Let's take a quick break from the market and enjoy lunch in Paris. In fact, we're at the Café de Paris, right underneath the Arc de Triomphe. Today we're having a Parisian specialty and a favorite of the great Julia Child, croque. This comes in two styles, croque monsieur, which is French sourdough bread with Gruyere cheese baked on top, or croque madame, which is the same thing, but with an egg. I can't tell you what's more enjoyable, the atmosphere or the food. There is nothing like Paris. Let's head back to the market. Okay, so I'm just looking through the jewelry now. I'm seeing if there's anything I see. <laughs> That's a rubber ring. Uh -huh. Ah, look at this purse. It's quite pretty. Look at that. Supercars. Uh, made in India. Let's see what else. See the the scarves. It's for two euro. Two euro the yes, scarf. Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, that's very pretty. Let's see what else we have. We have. A very long one. It's 
got rolled edges. Let's see how that one looks. It's got a little bit of staining over here. And uh, Castellini. It's Italian, I believe. We have Sicily. Yeah, I think these are Italian. Remember when we went to Italy, they had these scarves everywhere. Yes, indeed. I'd love if we could find a French scarf. That would be of interest. Don't see any name on this, or tags or anything. China. All right. All right. Let's keep looking. Yeah. Marilyn, of course. Portugal. Candy in there. <laughs> Don't think that'd be good. We have a snake bracelet. Yeah, I think it is a snake bracelet of some kind. I'd like to find out how much that is. I'm not big on snakes, but I know a lot of people do like those. Look at these rosaries. And they're very lightweight. See, very old watch. I'm trying to see what this, what, there's just a S in there. Don't know what that means. It means It depends, all depends on the price. How much? 10. That's not the right price, so. Okay. Let's see. Mel's drive-in. We just had dinner there. That's so funny. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> See what we have. And you have a medal from France. And let's see some coins and a very old little photo holder. I can't see what that is marked. A ring. These are very pretty. Look at that ring. That's a newer one though. I don't think that's very old. Newer pin again. Okay, so we found some beads and Gary's trying to see if they glow. No. I don't believe they do. Oh, look at this. I just want to get away from Julie for a quick second. Yeah. Look at these vintage photos of the French Foreign Legion. Oh, wow. Aren't those incredible? Yes. Very interesting. Very interesting. And look at these necklaces. Did you know how much his necklaces are? You I were don't. here earlier. Lots and lots of pretty delicate little necklaces. Bonjour. Bonjour. This is silver. Just this note. That's not silver. It's not silver. This one. It's not silver. And how much is that? The twenty. All right. We have a lot of silver here and here. Okay, let's look and over there. I think it's not silver, but ninety percent from my jewelers is silver. Okay. And we have brand. We have. A... <clears throat> I was missing a stone. Okay, looking for anything that looks very French. Those earrings. Oh, look at that pin. That's quite that's a piece. A pin? It is, but oh that's also goodness. Middle Eastern. Yes. 
Oh, look at how old that is. It looks very Victorian. Little baby in there. I think that probably would mean more if it was your baby. Look at this piece here. It's a very pretty little vase. Let's ask him how much this is. It's a little bit bent. Do you think that hurts it too much, Will? I don't think so. If you just See turn it, it just ask how much it is. Wow, that's quite a piece, huh? It's made in Mexico. Came all the way to France. Yeah, this is Mexico, and, this is Mexico. And how much is this? This is 80. 80? 80, yeah. 80. Zero. Travel chess set. Very, very funny little creature. And 1955. <laughs> All right. Okay, what do we have here? We have a little clock that's extremely broken, unfortunately. seen anything in there. Look at that. That's a very interesting painting. This is an old case. Look at this. Oh, it's terribly split, but that's very old. We have a cup. It's very old. Let's keep on looking. What does that say? Pittsburgh. <laughs> Look at that, that's an unusual looking spoon. Is that for serving a baby, maybe? I don't think so, I think, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Oh, look at this. That's interesting, oh. That's very interesting. Too bad it is so bent at the bottom. I love the way the vines reach around, but it's very bent. I think I'll just bend up here. How much is this? Five. Five. Uh, it's probably pewter. I wish I could get that bend down and that out of there. Hmm. And then we have Ooh, these. Architectural accents. I know. These are poles. These pieces. They're way too heavy to try to transport, but they're very beautiful. How old they are. Love to know what they came off of, huh? That one's missing it. Those are quite amazing. How much are these? Each one, 20. Each one, 20. Oh, that one's broken right there. They're too heavy. The one's broken. Those are look like almost Moroccan shoes. Oh, look at that vase. That's quite something. And this purse. Let's take it down. Let's see. I don't think the piece is silver. It's extremely broken. That is an old one. Hmm. All right, let's move on. What is this? I have no idea what this is, you guys. I have no idea what that is. 
That's I know what that is. What is it? That's a military shoulder pad. <gasps> You're right. They're it's both epaulets. In there. Yes, uh -huh. epaulets. Thank you. Ah. Oh. May was it say there? Complete your Napoleon cosplay. Oh my goodness. Look at her. She looks like a old bottle of some kind. Color. Look at the color on that one. That's very beautiful. Very beautiful color. I'm going to ask. It's probably way out of range, but how much? Uh, 50. 50? Yes. Yeah, it's way out of my price. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's a little... That doesn't belong in there. Let's see what else we have. So we have some old money. Oh, yes. Look at that from Turkey. A... What is that? 500,000 note. That's, that's old looking to me. Looks like it's missing a stopper though. Well, here we go with some more of these goodies. Oh, look at the wedding. That's terrific. So many pieces, all French stamps and all sorts of goodies. Hmm. There seems to be no end of uh, ephemera here. Look at this A little creamer, A little French creamer. How much that is? Let's ask. Pardon? How much? Three. 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 Before uh, six, five. Now three. Because now three. Because you're closing. Let's see what else we have. So this is all new, new items. Ah, oh, Napoleon. Little Napoleon brandy sniffer. Is this his too? Okay, let's look. Nefertiti. Hmm? Nefertiti. Oh yes, of course. The soccer coup. A little cricket box. He's missing a horn, though. Aww. Aha. Uh -huh. This little Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I like that piece. Okay, so where is he? So I think I'm going to do five for both okay. of them. Where are you from? Uh, 
United States, Las Vegas. Merci. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. After a fantastic day at the flea market, it's time to take in some of the rich, beautiful culture of Paris. And no one represents French art better than Claude Monet. Just a short walk from where we are staying is the Marmotten Musée Monet. This museum was established by Claude Monet's last living child who had no heirs and didn't want to see the largest collection of his father's work scattered into the wind. He donated them all to the Musée des Beaux-Arts, and they in turn created this incredible gallery. Here you will find large studies from all stages of Monet's life. I find it fascinating that he had a palette so rich in blue and green, but after undergoing cataract surgery, it shifted to red, as seen in these works from the final years of his career. The centerpiece of this collection is Impression Sunrise from 1872. This masterpiece captures light and shadow with such beauty. You can walk close to it, far away from it, or around it, and the work changes as you move. If you are ever in Paris, you have to see this painting. This visit was my Mother's Day gift to my mom, and it was a truly lovely experience. For dinner tonight, we're enjoying a classic French meal at Chez André, just off the Champs-Élysées. Look at this French onion soup, foie gras, and duck confit with potatoes. It doesn't get any more French than this. Now let's recap what we found at today's market. Okay, let's go over everything that we found at the market. Starting on this side, I found these most amazing little hand-carved elephant beads. They're just incredible. The detail, I don't know if you can get even a close-up of them. They are amazing, and they're hand-carved bone. This, I don't think it's super old, but I thought it was just absolutely attractive. It's so stunning, and you could put that on any kind of chain. I would like perhaps a rope chain or a copper chain, but like that piece very much. Now I have some rings I found. This ring, actually I can't show right now, but this ring actually glows. It's a glow glass, and of course, Gary found it. This is a French designer ring. Very, very beautiful. This is just a really lovely ring that I thought. I love the way it's constructed, and I thought it's very attractive. Put that there. And another designer ring. It's marked TS, and that is that stands for a French designer that escapes me right this second, but I'll have it by the time I offer these for sale. Here's something really special. I was just blown away by this little piece. It's very heavy. This is an Art Nouveau cat box. It is just amazing. It has a beautiful little clasp and it opens with velvet inside. Ah, uh, I fell in love with this piece. Lay me out. Lay me out. Look at that, I love this piece. We'll show it in more detail later. Ah, uh, French comb. Look at that. It's the colors of the Moulin Rouge. But I just love it and how the pattern comes down into the teeth of the comb. Just beautiful how that would look in your hair. This is a Victorian brooch. It's absolutely amazing. This piece, the flowers are constructed in there. Look at the height of that. And the back, it's got such an interesting closure. You have to pull this out and take it out. It's absolutely a beautiful piece. I love this brooch. Fell in love with it. This is 800 silver. Again, I think it's a small Victorian piece. Very, very old. It is marked right there. And it's just some very simple flowers. This is the Egyptian Revival. I believe this is from the 1920s. Again, a super old piece. It's not marked, but 
it's clear how old it is. Cute little French mirror, a little bit of petty point on there. There is a little bit of uh, stuff on the mirror that I can't get off, but how can I turn that down? A little French petite mirror, beautiful. This piece, this pendant I felt was so brutalist. I loved the way it looked. And uh, really like that piece very much. Coming up here, a little, it's from Belgium, a little creamer. It's quite old. It's got wonderful scenery decorations on it. Nice milk glass. And look at this lady. Could she be any more French if she tried? Bonjour. Bonjour. She's holding hey, her little basket of flowers in there. She's just marvelous. I just loved her. She stands up. And this wood turned, you can see it was turned and carved, this decoration, this wood vase. Just really, really attractive. And we have a little French cat. He's sitting on some velvet. He's quite old, but he's adorable. And this, this carved duck. I really love the colors. I love the way he's carved. Les quack. I just thought he was spectacular. And over here, these are one of the first things I found, these little porcelain animals. I just fell in love with them. They are so cute. Look at this little cat, a little French cat. Meow. Lay meow? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, they're very, very cute. The little mother, mother cat and her baby. And look at this face. Could he look any more French if he tried? Lay me out. Okay. So over here then, finally, I have a beautiful collection of ephemera, very old French postcards. They are just absolutely spectacular. The colors, they're just so beautiful. They're so fun. Look at these. Just absolutely love these. And again, you'll get a closer look in future episodes when they're offered on Whatnot. But that's basically what we got from our first foray into the market. Now, William, what do you have? Well, I found this really cool Statue of Liberty Centennial. That is pure solid silver there. I'll pick it up for you, Will. Let me okay, help you. Okay, there you go. You can see it. That is bit. pure solid silver. And of course, the French gave the Statue of Liberty to the United States, so I thought it was appropriate to find it here. We have a pin from the Disney Club of France. It's got a little Scrooge McDuck with a French quote down there at the bottom. We'll get a translation of that. I got this pin, this vintage, you know, costume jewelry pin, but it's just so funny of the clown with the flowers. Look at that. Isn't that great? Then I got a old super eight millimeter film reel. So it looks like this is the, a set of the great comedians of the silent era. And this one is Laurel and Hardy. Then I got this 1961 school edition of Voyage to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. It's got the original school stamp in the back which is really fun there. As you can see, somebody wrote that in 1961. Isn't that fantastic? I got my own lot of ephemera, some wonderful postcards, and a vintage photograph, and then my two favorite pieces of the day. This is an original 1960s Walt Disney 101 Dalmatians one sheet movie poster in French but it's also double-sided and it has the jungle book so walt disney's last two films on one poster so cool and then i am so excited about this this is a keeper a vintage brownie camera made in france look at how clean the inside of it is I am going to find the film for this camera and I'm going to start taking photographs with it. So there we go. Those are our finds. And so much more to come. Well, we had an amazing time at that French flea market with so many finds. And now we're at the uh, metro station. We're heading to the Champs-Elysees. 
And please like, subscribe, and ring that bell. It's free and it will help us grow. And as always, we hope you enjoyed being with us. And always join the journey.